Hey, I'm back again with more makeup. Gotta get my hair out of my face. First, I put on my eye cream, and then I put on some sunscreen. Next, concealer. With my ring finger all over my face. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my eyelid, too, to act as a good base. And just get rid of all this discoloration around my eye, around my nose. I'm gonna cover up all those zits on my chin. And make my face whiter. It's like a war zone on my chin right now. Oh, look, there's a little cutie in the back. Oh, there's a princess. She wanted to be in the video, too. Oh, she's cleaning her tail. All right, cute, right? Nope. So I'm going to put some powder on my face using a kabuki brush. It's a pretty light powder. And just blend that down onto my neck. And then I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese, I think, which is such a gross name. And I'm going to put that underneath my lash line on the bottom and on the inner corner of my eyes and, like, maybe one-eighth of the first inner part of my top lid, if that makes sense. And then blend it out a little bit with my fingers. There are going to be some awkward stages here where it just doesn't look good. Like now, I'm going to be putting white glitter shimmer eyeshadow all over my eyes using a fluffy brush from EcoTools. And then I'm going to take the smaller brush from EcoTools and put that same glitter white shadow all in my top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and um, on my lid and under my brow bone just to like intensify the color in those places. And then I'm taking the Stila palette, which one of my aunties gave me. I'm going to use a MAC blending brush. I'm going to take the matte dark brown shadow and put that in my crease. And a little bit above it, too, just to make my eyes look even more large. And then I'm going to take the lighter shimmery brown and use that to blend it out and into the corners of my eyelid. Um, or the outer corners, rather. And that's, that's about it for the eyes. Uh, eyeshadow wise and then I'm going to do my first layer of eyeliner using a black powder eyeliner from pa Manic Panic and just a tiny little angled brush and this I'm just gonna pack into the eye uh, what, what are they called Sophie? Uh, eyelashes! I'm just gonna pack them into the eyelashes Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes using my favorite eyelash curler from e.l.f. for only a dollar. And then begins the mascara layering. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic something or other. I think it's like extensions or something. It's a good mascara. I recommend it. If only I could remember the name of it. And that's for the first layer. My nose is so itchy, sorry. And then the next layer is um, CoverGirl, and that's that new mascara. And all of my mascara labels rub off, so I can't remember the names of them. I'm sorry. But it's a pretty colored tube, so you should be able to find it easily enough. And this one just helps make them a bit more fluffy. Yay. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows using my MAC eyebrow pencil, and it's so small. I'm going to have to get a new one soon. First I brush them out, and then I fill them in lightly, just in the sparse places. Sorry, I heard a kitty. And then I'm going to use this e.l.f. white eyeliner for your eyes to brighten them, and I'm going to put that on my waterline. Next, I'm going to do blush, and I'm going to do that thing where you put it right under your eyes, so I'm using that tiny little blush brush, and this is actually the first time I've ever done this, so I hope I'm doing it right. I think it's pretty cute, but it kind of, I'm finding, accentuates the bags under my eyes. I don't know. 
And then I'm going to take the pink cushion blusher from the face shop and just put that on top because it's a little more pastel-y, so I thought that might lighten it a little bit. And then I'm going to take the CoverGirl, um, something about uh, Clump Crusher, that one. That one's really good for lower lashes, so I'm going to do that on my lower lashes. And then just do a little bit more on the top. And then I'm going to use this lip tint from the face shop. It's like a milky one. Forgive me for not having names of products. I'll put them in the description box below. And then I'm going to take this orange matte lipstick from Joe Fresh. And I'm just going to dab that on the inner parts of my lips to create more dimension. It's also just a really intense lip color, so I don't want to use too much. And then just blend it in with my fingers. And now for liquid liner. It's the Physician Formula Liquid Liner in black. And I love this one because it's super precise. And instead of winging my liner out up, I'm going to make it go down because that creates more of like an innocent look, supposedly. <laughs> Then I'm going to do my last coat of mascara using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is just a, a sample size that I had hanging around. And I like to use this one last because it helps to just kind of stretch everything out for that final coat. And it works well on top and bottom lashes. I love it. And I cut myself off. So back with hair. And I'm just going to brush my bangs out. I'm going to have to straighten them a little bit because they get kind of kinky when I sleep. <laughs> um, so I just like to do a little bit of a curve there so they're not super flat and straight. And I'm just going to separate my bangs and fluff them out and put on this little treasure. Because <laughs> a dolly look is not complete without a giant bow headband, right? <laughs> Yay! Time to cam whore. Alright, finished look complete. Thanks for watching. Bye!